Our theater project file is now complete. We have a 3D model of a set in a theater with stage lighting in place. Now we need to create a plot and model view and set up sheet layers and viewports for exporting or printing. This command is only necessary if you need to show vertical positions in a 3D view. If you are not using vertical positions or you do not need to show the positions in a 3D view, this command is not needed. The create plot and model view command will create a definition layer and model layer for the selected positions. The selected positions will be moved to a definition layer and replaced with a design layer viewport. A second design layer viewport will be placed on the model layer. This allows you to rotate the design layer viewport on the model layer so the vertical positions appear correct in 3D views. Switch to the light plot layer. Select the four positions on the stage. Select Spotlight, Visualization, Create Plot and Model View. Set the name to Definition Layer Dash Stage and set Model Layer to New Model Layer. Make sure separate views and vertical are unchecked and click OK. In the New Design Layer dialog box, check the box for Edit Properties after creation and click OK. Set the scale to half inch equals one foot and click OK. Note, if you turn off all of the layers and toggle between the definition, stage, model, and light plot layers, you will see that the physical light instruments and positions have moved to the definition-stage layer and that the design layer viewports have been placed on the model and light plot layers. Make sure the light plot layer is the active layer and that all other layers are turned off. Select both of the vertical positions. Select Spotlight, Visualization, Create Plot and Model View. Set the name to Definition Layer FOH and set Model Layer to Model Layer. Make sure separate views and vertical are unchecked and click OK. Note, we are not using the vertical option because we are converting two positions at once. Make the model layer active. Select the viewport of the vertical front of house positions. Go to View, Standard Views, Left. With the viewport still selected, go to Modify, Rotate, Rotate, set the angle to 90 degrees, and click OK. Now we have vertical trusses that display correctly in 3D. Switch back to a top plan view and turn on the following layers. Light plot, scenery, soft goods, audience, and theater architecture. Turn off all other layers. Viewports are windows into models with the display of information controlled by class and layer visibilities. Sheet layers are used to assemble viewports and create sets of drawings for export or printing. While design layers can have different scales, sheet layers are always in one-to-one -one scale. Viewports also only have one scale per viewport, but there can be many viewports, each with a different scale, on any given sheet layer. Viewports placed on sheet layers can be modified, annotated, dimensioned, and cropped. First, we will review the process of creating viewports and sheet layers, and then we will create a set of drawings from the theater project. Select View, Create Viewport. In the Create Viewport dialog box, name the viewport Plot. Enter Light Plot for the drawing title, and select New Sheet Layer from the Create on Layer list. In the New Sheet Layer dialog box, set the sheet title to 01-LightPlot and click OK. Leave the rest of the settings in the Create Viewport dialog box default and click OK. Note, you can completely customize the viewport during the creation process. You could also modify the viewport through the Object Info palette after creation. We will show this next. Let's start by turning off the layers we do not want to show in this viewport. In the Object Info palette, click on the Layers button. Set all layers except Light Plot and Theater Architecture to Invisible. Then set Theater Architecture layer to Gray and click OK. Next, we will set the scale of the viewport so it will fit on our page. You can set the viewport to any of the standard scale presets or a custom scale in the Object Info palette. We will set a custom scale for the light plot viewport and arrange it on our page. 
In the Object Info palette, click on the Scale list, select Custom, and set the scale to 1 to 40. Move the viewport so that it fits within the page area. Place it on the left side of the page. Finally, let's add a drawing title in the annotations of this viewport. Double click on the viewport. In the Edit Viewport dialog box, select Annotations and click OK. Switch to the Dims slash Notes toolset and activate the Drawing Label tool. On the bottom center of the viewport, click once to place the label, then move the cursor to the right and click a second time to set the rotation of the drawing label. The Drawing Label Object Properties dialog will appear if this is the first time you have placed a drawing label. Click OK to accept the defaults. Click Exit Viewport Annotations in the top right corner of the drawing window. As you can see, the drawing label is auto-numbered and displays both the drawing title and the scale of the viewport. The annotation section of the viewport can be used to place labels, notes, dimensions, and other 2D annotations. In addition to placing viewports on sheet layers, you can also place drawing borders and title blocks. In this section, we will place a sheet border and title block on our sheet layer. In the Dims and Notes toolset, activate the Sheet Border tool and double click anywhere on the sheet. The sheet border will automatically snap to the page border. Note, the Sheet Border Preferences dialog will pop up if this is the first time you have placed a sheet border. If the dialog box does not pop up, all settings can be modified in the Object Info palette. Click on the button to the right of Title Block. In the Import Title Block dialog box, choose Defaults, then click on the Symbol Thumbnail, Choose the Spotlight Title Block and click OK. Click OK again to place the sheet border and title block. Double click on the title block to edit the fields. Edit the fields as shown. Note, there are two sections for this title block, Project and Sheet. The labels under Project will show on every sheet. The labels under Sheet will only show on this sheet. You can place a schedule directly on the sheet layer, or you can create a viewport of the schedules we placed earlier on the paperwork design layer. Creating a viewport of a schedule will give you easier control of the size of the schedule. You will be able to adjust the scale of the schedule in the same way as we adjusted the scale of the light plot viewport. We will show placing cropped viewports of the schedules. Switch to the paperwork design layer. Activate the rectangle tool from the basic palette, Draw a rectangle around the instrument schedule. With the rectangle selected, select View, Create Viewport. Click Yes in the Prompt dialog box to use the rectangle as the viewport's crop. Select Sheet-1 01-Light Plot from the Create on Layer list and click OK. Move the viewport to the right side of the sheet. Repeat this process to place a viewport of the color schedule on the light plot sheet as well. Select both of the schedule viewports and give them a custom scale of 1 to 1.5 in the Object Info palette. Arrange the schedules on the sheet. We can use the first light plot viewport to create additional viewports and place them on different sheets. Click and drag the light plot viewport to the right while holding the Alt key on Windows or the Option key on Mac. You will see a plus sign appear above the cursor. With the Alt slash Option key still pressed, release the mouse button. We now have a duplicate of the viewport. Next, we will create a new sheet layer and move the new viewport onto it. Select Tools, Organization. Under the Sheet Layers tab, click New. Name the sheet layer 02-Scenery slash Soft Goods. And click OK. Switch back to Sheet-1. Select the New Viewport. And in the Object Info palette, set the layer to Sheet-2. Switch back to Sheet-2. Select the viewport and set the drawing title to Scenery in the Object Info palette. Next, we can modify this new viewport. Let's crop it, change the layer visibility, and adjust the scale. Double-click on the viewport and select to edit the crop. 
In the Edit Crop view, select the Rectangle tool and draw a rectangle around just the theater walls and stage. Click Exit Viewport Crop in the top right corner. Double click on the viewport and select to edit the annotations. Move the drawing label up so that it is centered under the stage. Click Exit Viewport Annotations. In the Object Info palette, click on the Layers button to set the theater architecture and scenery layers to visible. Set all other layers to invisible and click OK. In the Object Info palette, set a custom scale of 1 to 50. Using the method shown previously, duplicate this viewport. Set the drawing title to Soft Goods and set it to show the soft goods and theater architecture layers. You will need to change the drawing label to show drawing number 2 in the annotation section. Add a sheet border and title block to finish the sheet. Section viewports create cross-section views of your model. We will create a section viewport on the new sheet layer. Make the model layer the active layer and switch to a top plan view. In the navigation palette, turn off the two definition layers, the paperwork, and the light plot layers. Turn all other layers on. Select View, Create Section Viewport. Click once outside the rear theater wall and to the right of the center line. Move the cursor down vertically until it is past the seating layout. Click once to set the section line length. Move the cursor to the left and double click to set the direction. Make sure your section line does not cut through any lighting instruments. In the Create Section Viewport dialog box, set Create on Layer to New Sheet Layer. Set the sheet title to 03-Section in the New Sheet Layer dialog and click OK. Set the drawing title to Section and the scale to 3 8 inch equals 1 foot. Click OK. Finally, add a sheet border and a title block. Now that our theater project is complete, we need to print or export the file. To print each sheet, make it the active sheet and select File, Print. For most projects, you will want to export to a PDF first. Exporting to a PDF allows you to have a file that can be sent to a print shop or transfer to a client. To export to PDF, select File, Export, Export to PDF.